This is the second video for the Calvin 2 Superheat Controller, covering the setup of your system. So first we will set the step motor stroke. Press and then turn the select knob to the correct number of steps for the EEV being used. The default is 2500, but you can see table 2 on page 4 of Bolton 100-50-5.1 for a list of Sporlin EEVs and the steps for each. Press the select knob in to save your value. Next, we're setting our refrigerants. There's a variety of refrigerants to choose from. Once you've made your selection, press the knob in to save your value. The default is 404A. Now we're setting our temperature sensor type. Select 2K, 3K, 10K, or 98.6K. The default is 3K. The display does not show the K. For example, for 3K, the display is TYP3. Press the knob in to save your value. Next is the pressure sensor type. Select gauge or absolute. The default is gauge. Press the knob in to save your value. Next is the temperature units. Select Fahrenheit or Celsius. The default is Fahrenheit. Then it's the pressure units. Select PSI or bar. The default is PSI. Now we're verifying our set points. To enter the set point menu, press and hold the select knob for 5 seconds. Enter the password 111 and press the knob again. First, SHSP will appear and you can choose from 5 to 45 degrees Fahrenheit. The default is 10 degrees Fahrenheit. All the parameters are set to default, but you can change any if you need to. It's the same way as before. Push the button in on the value you want to change, rotate the select knob to your choice, and push the button in again to set that value. After all desired parameters are set, turn the select knob to ESC and push the button in to save and implement all changes. If you need to edit multiple parameters, you can reset them all rather than going back into the set point menu and changing them individually. To do this, unplug your controller, hold down the select knob, plug the controller back in, still holding the select knob, and continue to hold for 30 to 60 seconds or until four dashed lines appear and FRST shows again. STEP should flash like before, prompting you to select your settings. When I did this, it took a little over a minute, so now I'm running through the values, keeping them all on the defaults. Entering into the set point menu and going through these values as well. Remember to rotate, then press the select knob in to change any values, then press the knob in again to save the value. When you're finished, rotate to ESC and press the select knob to save all changes. Then you can rotate through your saved parameters, press the knob in to view the values. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or want to see installation or setup videos for other Sporlin products, please leave a comment below.